Hey everybody, my name is Kevin and I am a college navigator here at IU Northwest. So I wanna welcome all you Brickies to my short little presentation about the university. Um, what I would like to do is I would like to share my screen as I would have as I have a uh, small little presentation for you guys today. Um, I wish you guys could be here on campus, but unfortunately with our you know, current situation going on in the world, it makes it a little bit difficult to, to do these things. Um, so let me go ahead and share my screen here. Um, like I said, I have just a very quick, short presentation that I would like to show <clears throat> uh, just a little bit about the university and I'm gonna show you some, some pictures around campus as well too, so. One thing that I like to talk to uh, our students about, or I should say our uh, middle school students, uh, is you know, basically setting a course for success when it comes to uh, your college journey here. And as you can see by the little diagram there on the screen, you know, everyone always has that idea that, that you know, your, your success happens overnight and it's a straight line and everyone has that same you know, that same thing. But what it really looks like is that there's, there's that squiggly line there. That's what it really looks like. You know, you, you start off with your, with your program and then you work really hard and then there's like some insecurities and then you might fail on something and then you bounce back. Uh, life happens, stuff gets in the way and then you get to succeed. But nobody sees that, that back end stuff, right? Um, so hopefully this little presentation here is going to help you in the long run of, of being prepared and being ready to, uh, you know, <laughs> just be ready for college in general, I guess, right? <clears throat> so what I do, what I call this is set for success. So there's scouting, there's evaluations, there's a time to choose, and then there's that success, right? So we're going to break down each one really quickly, and then I'm going to show you some, a little bit about the campus. So uh, scouting, first off, these are the different types of degrees and institutions that are out there. Uh, so when you're looking at this, you see certificate, associate, bachelor's, master's programs. I'm not going to read everything on the screen here. You guys can see that, um, and this will be available to you at any time. So you can always go back and, and reference this uh, little presentation for you. Um, but just to kind of give you a quick idea, a little bit more about the individual degrees that are out there and the length of them. That's this slide here. That's your. That's part one of your scouting. <clears throat> part two of your scouting is looking at the different types of colleges and institutions, universities, however you want to call them, um, that are actually out there. <clears throat> so first, you have your community colleges. Those are going to be more of a commuter type co uh, colleges. Commuter means that there's no residential uh, housing on campus. Uh, then usually with community colleges, they typically only offer uh, certificate and associate's degrees. Um, and usually they're the most affordable uh, with your college options. Then you have your private schools, a little bit more expensive. Some, some are commuter, some are residential. Um, they'll offer masters, possibly even doctorate degrees um, at, at private institutions. And then you have your public institutions, uh, which are gonna be both commuter and residential. Usually a lot less expensive than private, but a little bit more than a community college, but you'll be able to get that bachelor's degree all the way up on through uh, even a doctorate degree. So then when you're looking at things, then you have to put everything together. You know, you did your scouting, now you gotta evaluate all your schools. This is where the college tour comes in. You know, this is, this is where you decide, okay, what are the colleges that I really wanna see? Um, where do I wanna, you know, where do I wanna go? Where do, what do I wanna see? What are some things that I have some questions about? And that's the big thing. Ask all the questions you can when you're, when you're visiting these schools. Uh, you'll probably start visiting colleges probably when you're in 10th, 11th grade, uh, definitely into your senior year, you know, get that final look. But I would definitely say probably junior year is the best year to start, start really looking at colleges. That's when you really start getting those questions um, and start trying to figure out what exactly it is you wanna do, uh, you know, with, with the rest of your with, with rest of your life, so um, evaluating, so looking at the different types of degrees, what kind of programs do you want to do you want to get into? You should have a big poll right now of the different colleges that you want to attend. You know, if you're looking at everything, you know, being sixth, seventh, eighth grade, you might have a hundred different things that you're looking into, and that's totally fine. Um, but as you go through the years, that poll is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, so you come up with those three final 
things. You know, that's, that's usually what you can shoot for three to five different areas that you really want to get into when you're getting to that senior year. You know, where do you want to go and what type of degree do you want to get? Making sure that that school has that degree. Then it comes that time to actually choose. Now you're actually going to choose which school you want to go to, what program you want to go to. And it is okay to go into college undecided. So if you're, if you're deciding on still like, you know, kind of where, you know, what you want to do with the rest of your life. And now that's always a question. Like, what do I want to do with the rest of my life? Um, you know, that you, you definitely have that opportunity to be able to, uh, you know, sit back and, and take that first year of college and really decide which area you you want to get into. Um, so going in undecided is totally fine. You know, don't, don't think that you have to have your career chosen going into your senior year when you're applying to school. Um, but definitely make that decision. And, you know, you should look at a college that maybe has, multi, you know, if you're looking at three different areas, maybe you look at a school that has two or all three of those, those programs that you're looking into. Then once you get through college, you have that success. But during that success time, you might have what's called the, the sophomore slump, right? So it's basically the tendency of students to do worse academically in their second and third year of higher education. Um, you might have difficulties in social and personal uh, and career development. Um, so my question is, do you think that's always something that happens during the sophomore year? And that answer is no, that can happen anytime, whether it's in high school, college, career, you know, you, you'll go through a little bit of a slump. It happens to everyone talk to people you know that's the biggest thing make sure you get out there and talk to someone and and really just you know family members friends it doesn't matter who it is but just get out there and talk to someone and and, and really you know try to figure out who exactly or what exactly resources are out there for you to help to help yourself succeed you know but definitely reach out to someone and talk to someone if you're going through a little bit of a slump everybody does it it happens you know but it's how we bounce back from that um, so at the end of the day, you know, what you want to remember is that make your own path to success. No, no one path to your, to your future in your career is going to be the same. You and your buddy might be best friends growing up and, you know, you get to college, maybe you go to the same school and that's totally fine. But Hey, maybe one of you is business, one of you is nursing, or maybe both of you are nursing or both of you are business. And you decide, hey, you know what, we want to do this together. Your path and, and, your, and your buddy's path is not going to be the same thing. You know, you might have, a, you know, a different family structure. You might have a different studying style. Um, it's not going to be the same. So always remember that. When you look at any Hall of Famer out there that's in any sport, you know, no, even though they might both be quarterbacks, their path to the Hall of Fame may have been completely different. So make your own path. You know, there's some great quotes. One is from Walt Disney. He has amazing quotes out there. So if you're ever looking for some good motivational quotes, you know, look at Walt Disney. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. It's a great quote, um, you know, it, 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 but it's true. You know, anything can come true. You just got to have that, that right desire and courage to actually go out there and pursue those careers. All right, to show you a little bit around campus, since you can't actually physically be here today, you know, I, I do apologize about that, but we're just not allowing big groups of, camp of students on campus right now. Um, I just want to kind of show you a little bit around campus. The first picture here, this is our Dunes Medical Professional Building. Uh, on the third floor is our medical school, um, the IU School of Medicine. Yes, I said IU School of Medicine, not IU Northwest. Uh, we are the only school in Northwest Indiana that actually houses a school of medicine on campus. Um, IU as a whole, as well, across the entire state of Indiana, we're the only uh, med school in, in the state. Um, and it, it, we are ter it's a terrific uh, program. If you are looking to go to medicine, it's very well known across the, you know, not even across the country, but across the world. You know, we have people from all different countries that come here to Indiana to, to uh, go to medicine, med school. Um, on that first floor, we also have a dental school uh, with a dental clinic, nursing school with a nursing clinic, um, or not the nursing clinic, the health clinic. Um, and it, this is just a way for, for students to get more experience while they're here on campus. We also have the business department that's housed in here as well, too, when we have what's called the Wall Street on Broadway. Um, the Wall Street on Broadway specifically um, has a 24-7 stock ticker and actually has an active trading floor. We're the only active trading floor in Northwest Indiana, which is really awesome. 
Um, right in here, uh, this is one of our many statues around campus. So next time you are on campus, walk around, take a look at all the statues. There are a ton on campus. You know, we have a big push for arts on our campus and you'll see statues everywhere. There, there's some amazing statues that are out there. Um, but in the background of that picture there, that is Hawthorne Hall. That's where us in admissions are. Um, <clears throat> so we are located there in on the first floor of Hawthorne Hall, as well as the Registrar of Financial Aid, the IT department, student accounts, and then there's also a wide range of, of academic programs that are offered here in Hawthorne Hall. <clears throat> Uh, looking through this little fishbowl here, uh, I guess you could say this is another one of our statues with two other statues in there. Uh, my pointer here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a statue here and a statue here, a sculpture, I should say. Uh, again, like I said, there's a lot of art on campus, um, but this is looking through to two different buildings. Um, on the right-hand side, you have your Moraine Student Center, which is a big hangout area uh, where students like to come in and hang out um, in between classes, maybe the eat, you know, the cafeteria is in there. On the left hand side is our Savannah suit is our Savannah Center, uh, which houses our, our athletic programs and one of our auditoriums on campus because we do have two big auditoriums, one that seats about 300 so, or so people and another one that seats 500 uh, individuals in our new art and science building um, right on campus. So. Uh, but yeah, so this is another area. There's actually, you can't really see it on this picture, but there's in that right behind the, uh, the little statue here, uh, there is like a little uh, water uh, feature. And over here on this side, uh, there would be um, a waterfall uh, feature as well too. So it's a really nice ambiance um, with our campus. So, and right here, this is the other side of the Moraine Student Center. Um, you can just kind of see you know, some tables in there where you know, they can be rearranged for different events. It looks like there's a big open area, so they must have just had an event the day they took the pictures here. Uh, but you can get a nice little view. This is kind of uh, about mid-fall, you can see, because the trees are starting to turn colors and our, our campus becomes very beautiful um, during the fall uh, with, those, with those changing leaf colors. And then here you can see this is actually a picture of Rain Tree Hall uh, during one of our uh, you know, busy days on campus. Um, usually our busier days on campus are Monday through Thursday as we're, when a lot of our classes are offered. Um, we have very few classes on Friday and then even fewer on Saturday as well. Uh, those are usually stuck towards the uh, master's degree programs for the weekends. Um, but you can see, you know, just a little bit about around the campus. Um, I know it was kind of a short short, sweet uh, campus tour, but there was definitely some information as well too. Um, that I wanted to get out to you because not only just seeing the campus is important, but also knowing a little bit about the college process. So um, I know uh, your, your guidance counselors at, at Hobart, this is something that we've been doing multiple years um, in a row. Uh, at least I've been here for over four and a half years. And every single year that I've been here, we've, we've had uh, Hobart Middle School come to, come to campus. So um, but we'd be more than happy to help you out. If you guys have any questions about anything, you can see all of our contact information here on this slide. So if you haven't already, write it down, uh, send us an email, connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, send us emails, whatever you'd like. Um, if you have other questions, I'm sure you guys have a ton of questions about things and we have a ton of answers. Um, you know, feel free to reach out. We have a ton of student clubs and organizations on campus as well too, over 70 different clubs and organizations on campus, athletic programs, as you can see, I have a hockey jersey here in my office. Um, I'm actually also the head uh, head ice hockey coach here on campus. Uh, so there you go, coach, Red Hawks hockey, right? <laughs> uh, so, you know, definitely if you have questions about that, about how to get involved with the athletics programs, uh, we can do that, you know, you can connect with us as well, too. We can either answer those questions or get you in contact with either one of the coaches or the athletics department, you know, specifically. If you have questions on student life, we'll get you to student life so that way you can learn more about the different programs and resources on campus as well, too. Uh, there's many other different services that I could go on and on and on about, but I don't want to bore you guys. You know, it's early in the morning. Don't want to put you guys to sleep. So, uh, but I definitely appreciate you guys taking the time. Uh, to, to viewing our little presentation here. And if you, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to, to myself or any of my colleagues um, at any time. We'd be more than happy to help you out uh, with, with anything going on. So uh, I just want to say again, take care. Uh, best of luck with the rest of this school year, Brickies. And uh, hopefully we'll see you here in the next couple of years. All right, take care.